this book talk, we are going to do three novels that are sultry, slow burn, suspense thrillers. I'm going to start with The Risen by Ron Rash. So it's 1969 and two brothers are on their high school break and they're working for their grandfather. He's the doctor in town. He, they're in a small North Carolina town and a mysterious girl comes to town, also a teenager like the brothers. And this starts off with the younger brother, 40 years later, reading the newspaper, finding out that her body was just found buried in the woods where they used to go swimming. So um, this is from his viewpoint, the younger brother, Eugene. Um, he wants to find out what happened. He thought that she got on a bus and left town that summer. Um, and so we go back to 1969 and we see how he fell in love with her and how she manipulated him. She was into drugs. She wanted him to get the pills from his, steal pills from his grandfather's office. And um, she, she was trouble. So um, you can see how that played out here. Um, so there's good suspense, like what happened? How did she get murdered? Um, and I loved the viewpoint of, you know, the young, I like the young teen viewpoint to me. That's always fun. And yeah, it's, um, it's a fun, sexy summer for him, but then it all, all goes downhill. So I recommend that one. The next one, Sunburn by Laura Lippman. She's written a lot. This one is kind of different from her other books because this is noir-ish. She was trying to write a noir mystery. So this woman is on the run and her name is Polly and she's trying to start a new life. And she meets Adam, who's actually the PI who was hired to track her. Um, but then they fall in love, but they have a lot of secrets from each other. Um, or do they? Do they find out about each other, actually? So lots of secrets, lots of mystery, and you get to know Polly slowly over the course of the book. So again, there's that slow burn mystery. It's not like fast-paced action thriller, but it was definitely what I was in the mood for, what I've been in the mood for this summer, that slow burn suspense. And, um, you know, you can judge for yourself whether she had good motives or not, and there, there are a few murders here, you know, I, that's all I'm going to tell you. So, yeah, this was definitely a page turner, and I definitely enjoyed it. And now my favorite one just came out this year, a debut novel, Please See Us by Caitlin Mullen. Had never heard of her because it's her first novel. And the publisher sent this to me with a bunch of ARCs, which are pre-published um, advanced copy, you know, preview copies, and I said, oh, when is this coming out? And then I saw it's a, it's a finished copy, and it just came out in March, and I started reading the first page, and I was hooked. And it, it's an Atlantic City, um, and it's, the, it, I love the sense of place, because you can feel the oppressive heat. This one, out of all three, I really felt like I was there. I felt there was a claustrophobic feeling to the novel. Um, Atlantic City, this place is past its prime and the economy is dying and there's a girl, 16 year old girl, again the young protagonist that I like, she's um, getting these psychic visions and she doesn't know what they mean. And she is working as a psychic, she's trying to use it to like, she's working on the boardwalk um, trying to make money in this dying town, but she wants to get out of this dying town. And meanwhile, there's a serial killer on the loose. Um, only people don't really know that yet, but they're, uh, he's murdering women. So um, but she's getting visions about this. So I, this was really gripping to me. Also, I loved the atmosphere. Again, that slow burn of a mystery. Um, and I could just feel that like oppressive heat, the boardwalk just like the heat coming up from the boardwalk and like her wanting, Clara is her name, she just wants to get out of town, start over, get away from this dying town. So this one I just really loved. There's another viewpoint here too of a girl named Lily who Clara goes to for help. Um, and I didn't love her perspective as much. 
Um, but still, I love the book. I gave it five stars. So yeah, they intertwine and, you know, um, hopefully evade the serial killer, but you'll have to read it to find out. Um, so yeah, here's your sultry summer reads. Pick one up. Um, we have curbside service, so um, check our website for all those updates. And sorry I can't see you guys in person right now, but um, uh, join us next time for next book talk. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the Stickney Force View Public Library's YouTube channel. Also, like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Stickney Forest View Public Library District, where great things happen.